Hello and welcome to a new video about calculating power circuits. Today we are talking about Kirchhoff's second law. Last time I already mentioned if it's called first law, then there's probably more. Yeah? And there are two of them, two circuit laws of Kirchhoff, Gustav Kirchhoff. Second law is also called loop rule yeah? or voltage rule or voltage law. Uh, what is this about? Well, it's about loops. Yeah? It has nothing to do with shoes, uh, with shoes or, or I don't know, uh, stunts with your airplane, loopings and so on. And uh, No, loop is something else and I want to explain you what a loop is. Uh, so let's say we have a certain power circuit. Uh, should look like that, maybe. Why not? Huh? So we have here some R's, we have here R1, we have an R2, we have an R3, we have an R4, and now we just draw uh, some voltages inside. Huh? So here we have a new zero, here we have a new one, we here we have a U2, we here we have a U3, here we have a U4. Just somehow, we said there's a reference direction, remember, reference direction, we can choose however we like, and now we are a little bit limited because we have to select the same direction at the resistors for our currents. And that's it. Let's say this is our, this is our uh, loop. Now, let's think about the potentials, okay? Let's think about the potentials. Let's start here. Yeah? Here we have a potential, I call it V1. Okay? Here we have a potential, we call it V0. V1, and here we have then a potential, I call it V2, why not? This is the same, or here is the same. And here we have V3, all right? And the voltages are the potential differences between those potentials. And now, if we would sit here, start here, start here, and we are going down, we say this is the direction. This is loop number one. Now, loop. Yeah? Loop number one. And I'm summarizing all voltages, so all potential differences on my way through the network. So from here, going here. At the first one, I am, I am passing is U4. And U4 is in the same direction than my direction of the loop. Yeah? So it is called U4 plus, yeah? and here we are passing now U3, but it's in the opposite direction, yeah? because our, my loop direction is going like that, and U3 is negative, so we have minus U3, all right? And here we are passing now U2 yeah? minus U2. And since all of those voltages are potential differences, yeah, we are summing up all potential differences and ending up at the same potential V1. Yeah. So basically what we can say is that between here and here we have zero volts. So this equals zero volts. That's already the law. Yeah? That's already Kirchhoff's second law, the loop rule, that if you summarize all voltages in a closed loop inside a circuit, there must be zero volts. It's not working all the time, because if we have changing magnetic fields, we'll talk about this, we would have induction, and then it looks a little bit different. But in, in case where we don't have changing magnetic field, this is exact. 
and this is the case now we are we are doing all right we are doing this case so loop yeah the loop rule of kirchhoff says yeah the sum of all voltages in a closed loop is zero volts that's the loop rule mm -hmm. let's make a second let's make a second loop let's start here and this time let's start in this direction tuk, 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 tuk. right this direction loop number two loop number two going down first one we are passing is u1 in the same direction u1 yeah? tuk, 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 tuk. second one we are passing is u4 same direction plus u4 tuk, 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 and now we are passing u0 uh, negative u0 and this must all be 0 volts uh, because between here and here there's no voltage difference that's it this time we have made something i'm not sure you noticed but we did something we left we left uh the, the, the wire this we can do yeah? so we don't have to follow wires we can even we can even make it like that that we say for instance yeah let's start here yeah? here this direction this should be loop number three this direction so we are tuk 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 going down here yeah? going here and changing from here to here again. All right, so we're leaving the wire without even a plug or something. We are leaving the wire yeah, and coming back to somewhere else. Here, I have to take into account that between here and here, there might be a potential difference. So I have to draw in a voltage. Yeah, I call it, I don't know, UB for bridge or whatever. Yeah, it's up to you how you call it. Yeah, so loop number three. First one we arriving is u1. Second one plus u2 because it's going in the same direction. And now this up is negative minus up is zero volt. So I have to introduce this up because between here and here there might be a, a voltage. There might be a potential difference. And so I have to model model this. Yeah, so I have to use this in my model. And I do not have I do not have to stick to some rules here or make search for a very small loop. This is working always. For instance, and now last example, let's start here. Yeah, let's start here, this time in this direction. Loop number four. First one, four. First one is u0 in the same direction. Tuk, 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 going down. Huh? Going up. And now we're going up here. All right? Minus u4. Now we're going up here. Plus u2. Now we're going up here. Minus UB, and then we're here again. It's zero volts. Yeah. These are all examples, examples of different loops here. Yeah, and I think you could manage to follow this. Yeah, examples. Different loops. Yeah. That's Kirchhoff's second law, loop rule, right? So basically it says between here and here, there's no voltage difference. Like I said, when there are 
uh, changing uh, magnetic fields involved, then this is not exact. We will extend this afterwards with the law of induction. But for, for us now, that's it. Yeah? We are not talking about magnetic fields and not <laughs> changing magnetic fields up to now. Yeah? We are starting slow. Loop rule, key of second law. Yeah. Next time we're talking about a thing, uh, how to combine elements. Yeah. And one combination is to use one element and after this element use a second element. So combining two elements in series. Series circuit, series connection. Next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.